Welcome to Istanbul, Sanya. It's a pleasure to have female coaches in our league. How did you decide to come here to Vakuf Punk? What was the process like? Yeah, uh, well, when you get a call from coach like Giovanni Guidetti and a team club like Vakubank, it's a really hard opportunity to pass. And uh, I see it also as an opportunity to enhance the presence of female coaches at such a high level. So, you know, came here, visited, fell in love immediately with everything that this club has to offer from the staff to girls who, I mean, they were just unbelievable. And, you know, it was just a matter of finding a perfect school for my daughter and we're packing bags and coming here. Yeah. And you mentioned your daughter. I had a chat with Shannon Windsor uh, this summer and uh -huh. she talked about the difficulties of having a family, managing the family and being a coach. How do you manage being a mother and coach at the same time? Do you find it difficult? And do you want your daughter to be a professional volleyball player as well? Well, I, I do find it more difficult than I would say for our male counterparts because, you know, it is, you know, there's that instinct of being mother figure and, you know, being around your kid and, you know, obviously you miss them. But I believe our male staff misses their kids as well. It's just a matter of organizing your life in such that you have a great village to support you in that process. You know, I, I want my daughter to be happy, healthy and successful. And so whatever it is that, that she chooses to do, I would be happy for her. Uh, she does express interest in volleyball right now. So I would obviously be the happiest if she chooses volleyball, because if I'm born five more times, I want to be five more times volleyball player. So, you know, I think it's a great sport for women. It's a great sport for young girls. And it promotes everything that I love uh, about being, you know, healthy and happy and driven. And so I think um, my daughter's name is Stella and if Stella chooses volleyball. I definitely will be happy. So um, you were a professional player before you become a coach. Uh, did you always have it in your mind to transition into coaching or did it occur to you later in your career? No, actually quite opposite. I would get that comment by my former teammates and coaches and they would say things like, one day you're going to be a good coach. And I'm like, I don't want to be a coach. I didn't, I didn't go to college to be a coach. It was kind of like, I don't know why, but in my head I was like, I don't want to do coaching. You know, I want to go move into business world. And, and then when it was time for me to retire from professional volleyball, I just couldn't imagine my life without volleyball. It was very hard for me to just think to cut it off completely after 23 years of having it in my life. And so finally I was like, okay, let's try coaching. And within that first season, I I was like, yep, this is it. You know, I love it. I love making impact. And, you know, I love being around. I, I, I think coaching is teaching in a way. And I love teaching volleyball and through volleyball, teaching life as well and being there to serve and support these young women in making their dreams come true. In a previous interview, Giovanni mentioned that he would like to work with, with a female coach. How would you describe your first contact with Giovanni and his staff? Yeah, I mean, Giovanni Guidetti, in my opinion, is the best coach in the world. You know, I don't, I don't think there is such an award, but in my opinion, that's uh, what I consider him as. When I received a text message from him, I thought somebody was pulling my leg, to be honest. You know, just was like, okay, Giovanni Guidetti knows I exist. You know, and then... When I talk to him, he's very personable, you know, he's such a people person. And on the top of that, he's an amazing volleyball coach. And so we, we got on a call for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And I think they played a the game that day and it was just kind of like, oh my God, he's amazing. We talked about volleyball, obviously, but we talked more about other things. For him, he values family. He sees Vakibank as family and he used the word family and Vakibank together many times. And, you know, for me, it was just kind of like, okay, I definitely want to work with this guy, but I, for for me, it was hard to get realize that I want to move away from America and because I want, you know, I settled there, I have a good life there. And so, you know, Giovanni was pretty persistent and he is hard to say no to. So, <laughs> yeah. As you said, uh, you had your fair share uh, of time in the United States, like seven seasons, am I right? I was a head coach for six seasons and I was assistant coach for four. Oh, so 10 years. Yeah, Amazing. 10 years of coaching, yeah. And you met many players before they started their professional career. Yeah. How does playing in the NCAA help players when it comes to starting their professional career? I think it's a lot different, you know, playing in college level and playing playing professional careers. Like, it's very different. And, you know, you probably can talk to American girls that are playing for our team, Chi, Jordan, uh, Franti. Um, they're... You know, it's over their school and volleyball come hand in hand and it's very important they have, you know, all kinds of lives on the top of, on the top of being an athlete. And that kind of comes in in second. And here, you know, they, these girls are just, I mean, from the day I arrived, it was contagious from our, you know, some of our girls from the uh, first league, you know, from the second team, they trained with me. I mean, they're 15 and 16 years old and they live for volleyball. And I just love that. You know, I think, you know, obviously they go to school and they're very good students as well, but volleyball is their passion and that should be the way it is. And let's talk about Vakuf Punk. Like you'll be playing, it, uh, competing yeah. at five different cups. 
What is the goal for Vakuf Bank this year? Five cups. That's always the goal for Vakuf Bank. I learned really fast that second place is not a success in this club. And so, you know, and it, it was funny because from girls, you know, from the girls who are not on a national team, from the moment I stepped in, you know, they made it clear, like, we don't, we're not happy with anything silver and not even jewelry. Like, it has to be gold, you know, so <laughs> we're doing gold only. That's what we're aiming for in everything we do. Vakuf Bank had uh, lots of players in the Turkish national team who had great success yeah. this year. What do you think of their performances as the team, Turkish team, and also as your players from Vakuf Bank? Yeah, it's unbelievable, you know, to see how far Turkish volleyball has come from the moment, from times I played volleyball and on a national team till now. And, you know, I think there's a lot to be said about what happens when you invest in women's volleyball, when you invest in in, in, the, in these young ladies who have potential. And I think Turkey and Vakuf Bank have been the pioneers in showing how it's done. And I hope more teams around the world see what you know, Turkey has done for their volleyball, volleyball team. And they do the same thing because obviously when you invest, the result is in, in, inevitable. My last question will be a personal one. As you know, Shannon Windsor is the only female coach in the top level, probably yeah. in the national team level. What is your dream in coaching career and what should be done to have more women in head coach positions in women volleyball? Women's yeah, volleyball. I, I was a head coach for six years and so as I, as this, it stands right now. I um, I enjoy being assistant coach. I you know I think head coaching job is a lot different from assistant coaching job. And for me personally, that's not what I strive for at this time in my career. I will be the happiest if I can stay in Vakivank for a long time and if I can be serving and supporting our young women and our staff um, in the quest of you know getting five trophies every year. And you know I I do believe that there is a lot of pressure for Shannon and myself and other coaches who are in this position to prove that female coaches do belong at this level because you know we have the knowledge we have what it takes to be coaches and more importantly we can relate to these girls we can relate to what is it like to be a female coach or female athlete at this level okay thank you it was a pleasure having yeah. you here teşekkürler yeah teşekkürler rica ederim